Hey, Dr. David Schiller here, and today we're going to be talking about dizziness and vertigo. And what we're going to be talking about is the relationship to some autoimmune processes and this, this problem. An autoimmune process, as you may or may not know, is a process whereby your immune system is attacking a body part. So regardless of the autoimmune process, whether it's Hashimoto's and thyroid, whether it's uh, multiple sclerosis and myelin in your, uh, over your nerves, the insulator of your nerves, whether it's ulcerative colitis and your colon, or Crohn's disease and your terminal ileum or your small intestines, there are processes in the body whereby the immune system is destroying those body tissues. Not a good thing. So in relationship to dizziness and vertigo, uh, many of you may have heard of Meniere's disease where there is hearing loss, vertigo, and ringing in the ears. And for many people, what they do for people with dizziness in the medical realm is giving people antivert, which is a medication that will inhibit some nausea. And the reason why you get the upset or feeling of wanting to vomit when you have vertigo is because, because there's a close tie between your inner ear mechanisms and your balance. Those mechanisms talk to the brain stem nearby the area where, which also uh, talks to the intestines and the indigestion. So you can have an overwhelming neurological input causing a vertiginous event or a, a dizziness event. Then it spills over and starts talking to the, the organs. So with Meniere's disease, there's a, a process that is related to autoimmune whereby the endolymph or the, the fluid within the ear canals, there's three canals in the ear that tell you where your head is positioned in space. There's ones that tilt forward, the ones that tilt back, and then one that, ones that have you, uh, that monitor your rotational movements. And these semicircular canals have lymph in, uh, lymphatic, or endolymph fluid that moves when your head moves and tells your brain where your head is. And there's a disconnect. There can be an autoimmune process against that endolymph where the body is attacking it and destroys that mechanism and therefore can create the Meniere's disease or the vertiginous part of the Meniere's disease. Um, so as a result, what you need to do, you need to find a doctor who understands the concept of autoimmune processes. In medicine and in our field of functional medicine and functional neurology, there are no cures for autoimmune diseases. But what you can do is modulate that immune system so it slows down or modulates that attack against the tissue that's affected. So regardless of what, what tissue we're talking about, whether, like I said before, it's the thyroid in Hashimoto's or, or myelin in multiple sclerosis or in rheumatoid arthritis against the cartilage, in the Meniere's problem, you still have to figure out why the body is doing what it's doing. Why is the immune system attacking that tissue? So in past posts, you may have seen where we talked about what's called Th1 and Th2. And these are basically the two arms of the immune system. And they need to be in balance for that immune system to be doing what's good for the body, which is getting rid of invaders and keeping your own body tissue alone. So there are ways through challenges with supplements to figure out which side of this seesaw act this is tipped in. So whether you're tipped in one direction or tipped in the other direction like a seesaw, you can then control and build up the area by, by balancing it with supplements, with your food choices, or tipping it down by excluding foods or things that could be tipping it in that direction the other side. So like a seesaw on the playground, is the one kid too heavy or is the other kid too light? It can go in either direction and there are ways of finding the balance in your immune system called the Th1, Th2 and this has to do with uh, helping it balance with supplements, with food choices, finding whether the body's been fighting certain infections, has the body been triggered by certain toxins, um, food sensitivities in particular can be things like gluten and dairy. So you need to find out what is going on in the body? What is the mechanism that is causing that immune system to be triggering the destruction of the balance mechanisms, the, the hearing mechanisms, as a result then causing the Meniere's disease or the problem with ringing in the ears, hearing loss, and vertiginous or vertigo or dizziness events. So keep this in mind when you're trying to figure out what's going on with yourself. Find a doctor who understands these things and not just throwing a drug at you that's just going to take care of a symptom, not getting to the cause. So I want to thank you for watching and make it a great day.